Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome back to some more Witchfire. Welcome to it if you haven't got my previous coverage. It is an extraction shooter, uh, ooh. It's an extraction shooter roguelite? I mean, yeah, it's more or less a roguelite. Looks like I'm going to the Island of the Dam. Oh, so I can't actually go to the Scarlet Coast anymore. I'm going to the Island of the Dam. Ruins of a giant tower built on a small island. You can hear the faint screams of nothing. There's nothing but the wind. Which defense is very low? Cool. Uh, yeah, so we've got a whole new area to go to, a bunch of minor changes that I don't really have access to, and some major features that I also don't really have access to, but that's fine. Okay, finger, uh, feel it, bleh. Linger at the portal waiting to strike. A tenorate portal pulsates and spews something out. So we got a couple of things to go for. So the entire point of this game is we go in, clear as many of these as we can. As we can, every time we do, we get a perk. Uh, and we use that to potentially beat the, ex uh, whatever's in this extremely dangerous area or... Uh, whatever's in the Wailing Tower itself. We have a portal where I can leave. Okay, Dormant Portal. A dormant, dormant Echo of the Portal you arrive through leads back to the Hermitorium, but waking it up might not be easy and periodically re releases additional enemies. So we can clear each of these locations, get some ammo, get some loot. And Dormant Portal also lets me ex uh, escape, but can also become a probable new starting location for future expeditions. So I'm going to just put a waypoint on that one. And we're just going to see what we can do. So first, uh, it's a fairly standard shooter as far as things go. Not quite cover shootery, not quite, I don't know. I guess I'd almost kind of describe it as like a military shooter style. Uh, style shooter. Military shooter? I don't know. I'm just, I'm rambling a little bit. It's a little tough to string words together right now. Ragweed's at an all-time high and I am cooked. But it's fine. I just... I actually really love this game. I usually don't play a whole lot of shooters anymore just because so many of them are competitive in nature. Okay, so what's our arcana? I can also potentially pop this one open if I get a feather, but eh. Immunity to enemy attacks after reloading an empty magazine or rate of fire for non-automatic weapons. I'm just going to go for the rate of fire boost. Invulnerability while reloading is actually kind of tempting and kind of cool, but I don't know how meaningful or good that is. So seeing stuff around the corner here, which is, it's usually just random loot. Lock supply chest. And not so lock supply chest. So we can get a healing elixir. Okay, and it won't, yeah, it won't let me pick that up. Unfortunately, I'm not the best aim at these. And no, we're not opening that portal. We're going on to the next. I check the map. We've already cleared this one out, so let's put this here. I'm going to clear out all the basic encounters and move on. I get the distinct feeling they might have made it... Oh, so we can we can do that. I thought there was a dash. Oh, there is a dash. I'm not seeing much. It's just this guy. Pain breaks my focus. Yeah, I kind of goofed that one. At least I can heal a little, uh, well, I've got plenty of healing elixirs, so elites can drop the biggest of witchfire crystals or an extra elixir, elixir slot. Let's go for the witchfire. I want to say that this is going to be marginally easier than standard. That's, uh, uh, marginally easier than the previous couple times I've played this. I think this zone's supposed to be kind of more of the beginner zone. I could be wrong about that, but it's giving those vibes at the very least. I'd like to put a scope on this thing if I can. I don't know how doable that is. I also don't know why everything's shaking. That always feels bad. <clears throat> when the game just randomly starts shaking, feels bad and scary. Oh, right, I forgot. I've got spells. Wait, no, that's the healing spell. F? Eh. I have spells. I don't know how to use them. This is what I get for not playing a game uh, consistently. I play this every once in a while. It'll take me, like, a run to get my... Uh, ooh get my sea legs. So, damage boost for spells and weapons. Eh, let's go for blood transfer. It just increases the chances of enemies dropping healing. Get a supply 
crate, crystal. Read the faded le lettering. Location and translation of the obelisk added to your map. Ooh. So we have a... Ceremonial obelisk. Let the eclipse of your soul be a symbol of inner clarity, overshadowing the chaos in the mind. It's darkness, find the calm that restores sanity. All right. I don't think it actually gave me any loot. It's just a thing. Oh, maybe it's one of those that if and when I come back to this place, I can um, I can specifically use it to restore health or resources or something. Maybe. I also want to grab more of these resources. Because that's how we make elixirs to bring with us. All right, who's here? A woodsman. There we go. Seriously? Oh no, that's not the end of the encounter. Unfortunately. I'm a little twitchy with my aim. I guess I could... Oh, did I turn down the sensitivity the last time I played? I think that's it. Okay, so where's... There they are. So there are more enemies. You know what? Let's go loud. I think those home in. Don't appreciate that. You have to use each of these weapons somewhat more than I have been. Because they, uh, they have, un well, I mean, there's a substantive unlock system. There we go. Missed bullets have a chance to rematerialize back in the magazine or increase damage and full health. Both are good. I think we're going to go for the firepower. I like the idea of the missed shots going back into your magazine. I, I'm not the most accurate fellow. But even then... All right, do we want to mark this one? I have to kind of double back, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so it's somewhere up here. Also wouldn't be a bad idea for me to seek out some ammo at some point. I think we are going to go past an ammo cache. Okay, I hear something. It's probably above me. What's up with this? Oh, more of the more of the plant. There he goes. There's something up there. There we go. Oh, this is so much easier than the previous coast. I like it, though. Bullets cannot be blocked by material shields or increase weapon damage to the cost of max health. Honestly, yeah, let's just keep cranking my, my damage up. All right, so we've got a couple of things here. That I can interact with, interact with a couple of obelisks with various bonuses. So we've also got chest. Chest has gold, demonic ammo, nothing more. Let me miss this stuff. I swear I came through here, but maybe I hadn't. No, I must have just like completely ignored it. Easy easy enough to get distracted. There's things going on, enemies to shoot, so on and so forth. I do really wish sprinting out of combat didn't drain your stamina. You gotta be worried about swordsmen. I say, but actually that was fine. Shoot him in the face a couple of times and he's not an issue. Okay, anything around here? I don't know. There's all sorts of stuff to kind of seek out on these islands, because I, I think their their design is fixed, but the enemy encounters are not. Nor is the loot. But maybe the obelisks are specifically fixed in their position. Elite goon. I love that.
There we go. More faded leather lettering, leathering. Another manifestation. Wow, we were just clearing this quick. Increased max HP or flinch and movement penalty for damage reduced by the cost stamina. Let's go for the health boost. Get a little bit of that back. Unfortunately, the health boost does not actually give me any life lat or life back. Which I think is a bit of a downer. Okay. So we're not actually gonna open this portal, or I could. Portal's open, but we don't actually want to go through it. Because I should be strong enough, probably, to clear my way through this. Okay. I don't remember if there's falling damage in this game. But I'm not in the habit of risking it. Not when I'm having a run that's actually going reasonably well. I kind of want to see if I can clear this zone. If possible. Okay. So these guys have jerk homing moves. I don't like that. Alright, take out the goon. I think we're all good. Nope. Swordsman, I have to worry about. They're really good at hitting me. But maybe they've gotten a little bit easier over time. It's really hard to tell. Alright. St. Albert's Scepter. Embroidered, embroidered staff blessed by the Holy Spirit. Scepters like this were forged to extract magic from dying witches. Serving as powerful artifacts and symbols of the cleansing flame. This one, however, seems to be more decorative than functional. Okay. What are these guys? I have no idea. Yeah, swordsmen were always kind of good at skunking me previously. Alright. There's at least one more guy. Luckily we didn't have anybody like shooting at us from afar or sniping at us. This would have been the lad to do it. Luckily, he was busy or distracted. Get a supply key? Absolutely. Just in gold? Seriously? Alright. Hey, do we have any other goodies around here? We might. Spending half a magazine reload can apply a random element to the new magazine, or weapon damage is critical for a short moment after casting any spell. I haven't been casting my spell. I should. Inventory prayer. What is my spell? Shockwave. Shockwave stuns minor enemies, exhausts major ones. Yeah, I should be using those. I'm just gonna check check my controls very quickly. Remind myself the spell buttons. Light spells F, heavy spells hold F. Got it. Okay, so now we are being hunted. We have an unknown artifact here. No, it is a known artifact. I found the staff. All right. How's my ammo doing? Oh, it's doing great. So I guess we just head for the tower. Yeah, the hunt is kind of the time limit. Like, you're taking too long time for you to actually get a move on. Okay, so what's going on in here? Tower gate. Presence is activated the mechanism. Must find a way to disable it. Okay.
was not expecting quite so many dudes. There we go. Alright, so that only hurts so much. A statue of a priest. Oh, so maybe it is this. This is this still has a thing going on. Or no, this is it. Statue of a warrior, statue of a priest. Okay. So complete other objectives, find the missing part of the statue. Oh, it was the the decorative staff we found earlier. Now, is there anything to find in kind of this central area? Ooh, that cost me like most of my demonic ammo. I'm not hating that though. Close range am ambush like that's kind of spooky. All right, let's see about the tower. Tower entry chamber. Something to do with these? Heavily worn with time, need a higher gnosis. Prayer note. Cain has not returned, as I feared. I warned him of his unreadiness. I've sealed the passage and ensured its protection. Join me at the hermitorium. We might just have to leave. Fire breath. Fire breather's trick turned deadly, damaging enemies and recharging melee. Legendary fire breather Ignatius was exposed as a witch sympathizer. Tortured about... Uh, tortured and about to reveal his secrets, he burst into flames and turned to ash in an instant. All that remained was the ring, the source of his fiery skills. Secret coast chart. Navigation charts used to safely traverse ley lines. This one details the route to the coast opposite the hermitorium. The more skilled the prayer and ley line reading, the lower the chance of failure. Yet danger still persists, leading to the preference for using slaves, criminals, and other lost souls as wayfinders. Yeah, so it looks like I might have to leave. Unfortunately, I think as soon as I do leave, I am going to get ambushed here. Yeah. Either that or there's enemies in these graves somehow. Hard to say exactly. Creepy. Now, unless I'm mistaken, this is the portal. And we can just go back. So I think we got everything. We missed some chests, but whatever. Uh, and some of my research is done, but not all of it. I like this format for Rogue Light. Uh, specifically, the extraction elements of it make it very compelling. Oh, right, I do have a double jump. So I could level up here, but I think I might want to wait just a second in case I need resources for other things. So resource research is concluded in the workshop, so we can go take a look at this. Oh no, this is just equipping gear. Okay, so we've got... Uh, let's see. Eldritch Incantation allows you, the Conjurer, to understand the second Mysterium of Enchanted Items. Upgrade your items in the gun room. Cool. So, Relic requires level 20. Fetish, Ring... So everything's unavailable except for this one. We're still working on long-range weapons there. Okay, so we have new gear and new gear enhancements. So if I go to the All-Seeing Eye... Cost, second Mysterium Incantation... Triggers a radial shockwave, damaging all enemies inside the shockwave circle on a crit. And then enemies killed, second Mysterium actions, and then third Mysterium incantation. So those are going to take a little bit, but I do really like that weapon. I do like the Vulture. I don't think the Vulture evolves. Oh, we didn't actually... Oh, no, no. We have shockwave, we have fire breath, and fire balls. Honestly, I think I'm going to go for the fire fireballs. That seems like it's going to be easier to pull off, maybe, than some. 
Okay, Ascension possible in the Ascension Shrine. So that's leveling up. If I'm not mistaken. So what can I spend my stats on? So I put a lot into Metatonia just because bonus money. I should stop doing that. So luck changes quality and quantity of items found in the world. Okay. I might want to see about resetting at some point. Metatonia's. is... I don't know why I invested so much into that. Spell recharge speed. Endurance is just max stamina and stamina regen. And that's healing efficiency. And that's just flat health. Yeah, maybe I'll work on that. I do... I hope there is some way to reset at some point. Because yeah, going for the extra Witchfire as a booster is not actually that great. I don't know why I invested into it easy earlier. So I think we're done with the Island of the Down. We can now go back to the Scarlet Coast. Uh, let's see. Kill the Witch's Familiar, acquire resources, and escape back to the Hermitorium. I think I'm actually going to try and fight the Witch's Familiar this time around. Last couple times I played this, I cowered, I would coward out just because I didn't want to. Um, but this time around I'm feeling reasonably bold. I know where I'm at. There we go. Should probably look at my objectives for this gun. I love the fact. Let's see, I'm just going to wait for the crawling... Ma Actually, you know what? If I hit that guy, do they all go off? They all kind of go off. Good enough. Alright, so what do we get? Bonus elixir, more stamina. Let's just go for an elixir slot. The hell was that? Unnerving, that's what that was. Yeah, so there's trap plants now. News to me. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna clear everything out. I've got a decent amount of ammo and feeling fairly strong. Found a supply chest. Have a supply key. Witch fire. All right. It's a bunch of explosive things. Get to that in a second. Oh, he is tough. All right. Oh, yeah, fireballs. All right. Should avoid taking too much damage here, but I'm not too worried. Nope. Cannot fireball yet. I actually... What? Come back. Rude dude shot me in the butt. Or shot at my butt. Oh, that's not an explosive. What are you up to? Bizarre gremlin men. There's more of them. Enemies are close. Well. Just give ourselves a little bit of leeway. Husks are melee, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, 
There we go. Clean. Thought that was another archer. Waiting for him to pop up and take a pot shot at me. That's a that's a portal. We don't want to fight that. I'm so curious about these blood pods. She notices you. Oh. Probably in regards to the witch, but I could be wrong. It might also be just something hard back there. I don't know. Okay, boost. Nah, let's go for just more max health. I'll be a chonk boy. Pop this open, get some ammo, get some gold. I legitimately don't remember what gold is useful for. Oh, follow the spirit to a strange object imbued with magic. I think I might have missed that. More feathers, more gold. Oh, it's this thing. There's a letter. Protected by the by a calamity hex, this remnant of the old age radiates with black magic. If you decide to pick it up, power might be might bring unknown dangers onto you. Could just cleanse with witch fire. Let's do it. I know it cost me effectively meta progression, but not so much that it's really that big of a deal. Oh, there's something in the back of this one. Another elixir? Actually, it's just a cap of a thing. Okay, up and around. Yeah, coming back and playing this game... It's weird. It's kind of like coming back to a friend's house that you just met recently. But you're not close enough to see them often, so you only go over there like a couple times a year. But every time you do, it's kind of fun. It's the vibes I'm getting at the very least. You need to hire Gnosis to see it completely. Yeah, they added like summonable companions, which sounds interesting. Oh, there is a chest in this town here. Oh, it's that, that thing. Oh, time to fall, find out if there's falling damage. There is not, at least not currently. Oh. So that's what the blood blusters become. Is that it? All right. There was something else. There's that. Okay. Spooky. Not too dangerous expensive. It's kind of fun watching the woodsman go pop. Not the most practical thing to go after these guys. They're not worth that much. Uh, let's see. And pop those open. I don't think I'm gonna go for the pod people. They're not really worth the effort. And mercs have one of the faster random shots. Oh, Elite Woods Woodsman explains things. There he goes. They're not the most accurate, though, which is nice. Oh, 
I like that crit explosion. That actually feels very good. Extremely solid way of taking out groups with this gun. Alright. So we're taking some damage. It was a little rough. It was fine. Non-critical weapon damage. Let's go with bullets cannot be blocked by material shields. I don't actually know how many anything we've found with material shields, but I'm not about to say no. Also heal. How much gold I've missed because I didn't pick it up. It's up there. It's a plus and I think it's at the top of the cliff. Mushroom? Mushroom. Bad for me. Oh, it's an ammo cache. I don't think we need it. Not yet, anyway. Open requires some volatile witch fire. Ooh. Collect a mandrake. Prevents fatal damage once per exp expedition. Activated. Restores some health. Fully recharges spells and grants a few seconds of immunity and incoming damage. Interesting. No idea how to activate it. Or maybe it's just it activates when it g goes off. So it gives you some health. Recharges your abilities. Yeah, that's probably it. Anything up here? Ow. Oh, rest of spirit leads us somewhere. All right. Dang, they're going far. The hunt is moving closer, so that is something I'm going to have to worry about. Holy shit. I was not expecting this restless spirit to take me all the way across the map. Okay, cultist. You're the one with the fire. Sanity is bad. Destroy the catalyst defenders? Calamity catalyst. Okay. Avoid it, destroy it. Only way to stop the curse. Let's see if there's anything else. So we've got to go check this out. Where was that dude I was shooting? Okay. Where are you at? I'm gonna figure out what the melee button is. Is it V? No, V is for dodging. Alright, here we go. That's something to be concerned with. All 
I might just have to go with rapid fire more than anything else. Okay. I can also destroy the catalyst. Oh, Grenadier is... tanky. Keep that in mind. Sanity is not doing super hot. I mean, if I die here, at least I went out doing something really interesting. I'm assuming losing sanity is uh, super bad. I, there's a dude left. A couple dudes left. Okay. I, that was a thing. Let's go back. Where was it? Here it is. Well, we find like a gazillion feathers at the very least. And honestly, health-wise, we're not doing terrible. All right, that was a trial and a half, but we got it. Uh, let's just go back here. One guy's just gonna be sniping at me this entire time. I'm just gonna run away. Hopefully he'll lose interest or he'll just follow me forever. Could go either direction. Let's, uh, let's check Arcana. Cause yeah, I can actually use a Raven's Feather to actually re-grab some of these. If I want to. I don't know. I'll wait until I've got some more options, I think, before I start using limited resources here. Yeah, so can't do that. Okay, so where's this... Where's this ammo cache? Should be up here somewhere. There it is. If I can get to it. Get some standard ammo. Anything else? Demonic ammo, which we need. Uh, you know, I've actually got a decent amount of shots. I'm kind of surprised. I was under the assumption I'd been wasting them. Oh my god, is it the guy? <laughs> Freaking just I spot him and he just immediately bails. What a goon. Right, let's see about this. Oh. Plus side seems to just be a unholy amount of woodsmen. I like these guys. They're easy to work with. All right. Ammo's looking fantastic. Would help if I'm good at aiming. Bonus Witchfire. Burning enemies or killing burning enemies recharges fire spells. I'm gonna just go for that one. I got 11 feathers. Sure. I no longer have 11 feathers. All right, we've got a treasure chest down here. I'm assuming it's down. Need higher gnosis to see it. Well, that's rude. There's something big here. Oh, it's you. Is that another one? Nope. B. 
big chunk. Hurts. Good time for a heal. I don't know exactly know what his shtick is, but I've got line of sight. Work in my favor. There you go. Okay. Nope, that's another devourer. Feels like the swordsmen have. Oh. Gross. The swordsmen tells have gotten a little better lately. Whoops. Do not know what that was. Did not like it. Do not like this. That sucks. I got hit by some kind of status effect that was slowing me down. At least we get some research on a bunch of uh, Witchfire Crystals, which is good enough. Ugh. Another thing I gotta work on is finding the Angelica stuff. I am actually going to run out of elixirs. Oh, actually, never mind. We make four of them per Angelica. So we don't need it that bad. Alright, I have nothing to spend there. But we have research we can invest into. I think I was just out of stamina and I was trying to sprint away. And you actually run slower when you're trying to do that, which is... Yeah, it's understandable. I think I'm gonna move away from that. Okay, so we get a new long-range weapon. So we have a new bolt-action rifle. And a fetish I can equip. I can't grab any of those. Do I want to do a uh, shotgun? I think so. Oh, this is what gold is for. Okay, I can only do two research progress at once. I can boost it. Let's just claim it. Cursed bell. Cursed bell fire firing at the bell tolls it, stunning nearby monsters. That's okay. I guess I shouldn't have boosted boosted that. Yeah, so we have the all-seeing eye, which I've been using. I could do the hypnosis. Sure. Yeah, they're both bolt-action rifles, but I don't know which one's going to be good. Curious which one has the better sights. Yeah, so do we want to swap Midas out for hunger? Maybe? No. Yeah. I don't like the less when overheated. That doesn't really vibe with my strategy. Or just me as a person. Oh, the fetish. the spell work. Decent. Fire breath is... no. I think that's fine. Okay, so it was fetish? Oh, we have two, actually. So, when low on health, any damage taken releases powerful shockwave. Let's just go for the mandrake. Neat that you can actually find those out in the field as well. I like that. What is going on here? I don't know. We gotta progress with the game further.
be able to use those. Okay, back to the Scarlet Coast. Zero Witchfire at risk, because I lost it all. Also, well, didn't leave it all. Lost it, lose it all. It's here. Yeah, it's sitting right there. Oh, it's fine. Same deal as last time. Let's see about this gun. Is this actually... Lower damage, faster fire rate. Not sure if higher clip. Yeah, higher clip. So, still bolt action, but... Reasonably snappy. backing up because I thought he wasn't going to be able to hit me. Turns out it didn't matter. Final bullet. Damage resistant. Uh, let's go for final bullet. Right. We don't need that. Okay, so what are the protective devices? Because those mushrooms are bad. Okay, a bunch of dudes running around there. But I'm just going to go to the right. Do have a supply chest here, but we have no key. Okay, those mushrooms are bad. I don't actually remember if the mushrooms are consistent across runs. Okay. That's an ammo chest. Explosive package. Package. Find the missing head. If I can. Yeah, so this is a bit more of a mid-range gun. Which, unfortunately isn't really what I need. Hmm. Be pretty bad if I fell into the ocean here. I don't think I can, though. I think it's got invisible walls. Unfortunately, getting the headshots on the hand cannon, not my strong suit. It's fairly good, though. I think the machine gun is still a little bit better for hosing. I'll take what I can get. Hello, you. The crit damage on this gun is actually pretty low compared to the regular damage. Okay, immunity spell cast. Uh, let's see. Casting spell grants immunity to enemy attacks. Burning, burning enemies take more damage. Unfortunately, we just don't burn enemies often enough for that to really be necessary. Uh, we haven't got any keys, have we? Ah, screw it. Let's, let's just go straight. Oh, hello. Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh, you're going to take me somewhere bad, maybe. On the flip side, eh, no, not that bad. Uh, 
was hoping he wouldn't get me. Okay, still going. I thought I was just out of reach. Boy, me and these spirits. They really like to drag me across the map. And something there is noisy as hell. Just use fire. I think we might have made a bunch of friends. Okay, Drowned Captain is looking for me. That's, um, bad. Okay, let's make a tactical retreat. Main goal here, only have a couple of these guys in hot pursuit simultaneously. That's the drowned captain right there, actually. Okay, not that safe. Now it's just the two of us. I was wrong. Yeah, the problem is... Grab this real quick. Additional damage against burning en burning enemies, but fully heal if they survive the burn. Oh, they fully heal. Let's just go for the fire orbs. Boy. I need more than a fireball, I think. Did plink him a bit. Yeah, the problem is I think there's two bosses right here. And it would be exceptionally bad for me to try and go for both of these simultaneously. Okay, how am I doing ammo-wise? Not amazing. Come on. Missed my previous gun. Oops. Got him kind of where I want him. Namely, far away from anything else. So I can actually take him out the rest of the way. Cripes, he's a tanky boy. Got him. 
That took some doing. To get some goodies for it. And there's ammo. Okay, do we have anything here? Oh yeah, we never actually did clear out this area here on the right. I got distracted. Ow, what? Rude. Oh, you can destroy those. Useful. Alright. Yeah, find the missing head. I do kind of wish... Oh, wait. It does actually work. Yeah, if they're chucking the frost grenade and you, you stun them during it, they will drop it on the ground. And there's somebody here. Random husk archer. Another healing elixir, at least. There we go. Hello? Oh, it's just these guys. Nope, not just these guys. I hear him. Or. I see the other dudes running around in the background. But they aren't that big of a deal. Damn, that was effective. Turns out setting those guys on fire works out. There we go. And then there was one. I think I'll use the hand cannon a little bit more. All right. Health sacrifice or kill reload. Let's go kill reload. Not exactly the best for this run. But like, I'll take whatever I can get. There's an exclamation mark here. Oh, the head. Bring the head back to his body. Well... Oh. Well, that's rude. They shot the head. Yeah, I knew it. It's the double mushroom. Well, that was rude. I mean, I should have expected it, but... I don't know. I'm just doing the best I can. Eventually, I'll be pretty good at clearing these things. There we go. I just want to get my goodies back. I hate those frost grenades. Guess I might as well heal up here. It's you. Merc up top. And there is, of course, a devourer up there. There we go. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Is there another one? There might be another one. I only have two shots, though. Nope, Grenadier. Which is kind of good, bad for me. I was going to pick this up. 
the fact that you have to actually charge that interaction is rough. There we go. Alright, and then... I don't know what's going on. But I think it's a bunch of big bad boys back there. Yeah, Grenadier... I'm going to operate under the assumption that this is an intensely terrible idea. Yeah, my ammo is not great. Four out of six. I think we just bail. Come back in a bit. Because I've got an ammo cache, like, directly above me that I should be able to snag. Another healing elixir. I should probably actually set the dude Grenadier on fire. I actually know if it's good against him. But it seems practical. Okay, open the chest. Some ammo, demonic ammo. It's good. Take a look. So I got a portal out. This is the extremely dangerous area. My main problem is, if I can't clear the extremely dangerous area, how can I ever beat the first familiar? Ooh. Okay. Right. There was this. But this is like, right next to that mid-boss encounter. I don't see him, though. Who are you? Take it. But I'm gonna call, call you out for being the rudest dude. Alright. Grab some more Angelica. Yeah, let's go clear this small batch first. Do I hear something here? Fallen Prayer's Mask of Elias. Huh. That dinky totem was blocking like half my shots. I'm impressed, astounded, and a little upset. Okay, don't do that. There we go. So what do we get? More stamina or witchfire clusters. I'll just go for the witchfire clusters. So I've got an amount of ammo. We've got an ammo cache behind me, and it's at this point it's pretty much either. Fight these guys. Ow, really? Holy shit, that hurts. Go figure, I got cooked previously. Getting puked on is uh, rough. Okay, if I can kill just you. Got it. I wonder what happened to the Grenadier and the other guy. Okay, bullets randomly do double damage or faster spell, light spell recharge. Okay, so actually we're done with this. Whew. I had some worries. And we also have a cross. I'm just going to cleanse it. We'll reload this thing. Okay. So now that I've done that, really the only thing I have left to do is maybe go confront the witch's familiar. I think we do.
we've got pretty much every everything we can. There's one hard fight right beforehand, or you know, group of enemies right before that I'll have to punch through. But otherwise, like, reasonably set. I think the only other thing I could potentially use would be like more healing. Yeah, we're maxed on ammo. We're out of supply keys. I was hoping for another health vial as well. Gold. Ah, we've got another rosary. Yeah, we want the gold to speed up research, I suppose. I've never actually been to this area. I usually don't go to the back end of the island. Because I usually don't want to get close to the familiar. The swordsman there. Slightly out of their, like, bum rush range, which is weirdly nice. There he goes. All right. Yeah, so there's a couple of bad nicks. Probably another one of the plant things tried taking a piece out of me. Okay, so... Actually not so bad here. Never mind that hurt. Well, that works. Kind of. Okay. I don't know what's going on, what the ding-dong is. Alright. Yeah, what do we want? Health sacrifice for more damage. Go for that. What is going on? Oh, you shit. Okay, phantoms cross into the material plane, furious by your disregard for their peace. That's bad for me. Okay. I think we're just going to bail. At least I have half my health. Well, I don't know. I have half my health. Lost it, don't see it. Oh no.
Let me check the map. I think I'm hosed. Okay, destroy the catalyst or kill 13 phantoms. Or I just get mulched. Holy shit. I was like, you know, I could do this. I can do this and then just, oh god, that's 32,000 lost. It's fine, I'll be able to pick it up, but what I'll probably have to do is go pick it up and then leave. I do not like that sniper rifle. Uh, it is just worse than the one I had. And yeah, maybe I need to get some upgrades for it, but... I mean, I guess I can unveil the Mysterium. That's why it's bad. Okay, right. We can go claim maybe a new shotgun. Fast firing regenerates more, more than ammo. Fast firing regenerates more than ammo. Does it give me health? Or sanity or something. I have no idea. All right. Oh, I couldn't get anything else because gold is required to even start research. Got it. I like the hand cannon well enough, and I'll probably probably keep using it. But I kind of want to try the psycho pump. Yo, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, it does cost stamina to fire, but that's fine. Anyway, for now, I think it's a good stopping point. I, well, you know what? We did clear the first starting zone, but we still have not cleared the landing beach, and that is wild to me, but is the game. Eventually, we'll get to the point where I can actually clear the, be uh, clear the beach and have an easier time of it, but, uh... Right now, I don't know, just need better guns, need better tactics, spells, upgrades, you name it, I need it. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit to get all of that stuff, but for now at least, uh, I might as well mention once again the Witchfire is, uh, well, once again, I don't think I mentioned it before, uh, but Winch Witchfire is out and getting updates on the Epic Game Store. Uh, I don't know when it's coming out on Steam, it says quarter four 2024, so I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't come out on Steam sometime in October, November. Somewhere in there. Highly recommend it as far as kind of new agey roguelikes go. Mixing, I mean, roguelike, roguelite uh, mechanics with extraction shooter ideas is actually brilliant and a lot of fun to play around with. There's it's so much more risk versus reward. And it doesn't really get that power fantasy feel. But as somebody that does not like playing um, actual extraction shooters because I hate people, uh, this does it right. It, it's got all the right... right vibes, challenge, difficulty, uh, and kind of progression systems, but without other people to kind of ruin your day. And I think that's cool. But all that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.